Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So today in this video I would like to explain about one of the important part of the measurements and related with the sign bar. So there will be the most common questions like this. Why sign bar is not preferred for the angles greater than 45? So the behind these questions let us see the answers. So in my previous lecture I already explaining about the sign bar and principle of the sign bar with the different kind of jobs for the measurement of the angles with the application of the sign bar. So basically for sign bar and that will be sine theta that will be equal to h upon l. So let us see the basic arrangement of the sign bar. So let us see this is our sine bar which is resting onto the surface plate and here that will be the roller number 1, roller number 2. So one roller that will be resting onto the surface plate and second roller that will be rested onto the number of slip gauges. So here that will be making an angle theta. Suppose that will be the height of H and we already know the center to center length between two rollers and that will be the L. So by this general arrangement you should find the this theta angle. So sine theta that will be equal to H by L. But which is not preferred for the measurement of the angles which is greater than 45. So let us see. So H is equal to L sine theta. So from these equations let's take a look the accuracy of the set of the angles by the sine bar depends upon the errors into the center to center distance between two rollers or you can say number of slip gauges is being used for the setting of that particular setup to measurement of an angle. So what happens the effect of errors in the rollers and that will be delta L and slip gate that will be the delta L. Suppose that will be the delta L errors and delta H errors is being calculated. So that much amount of distance error and this much amount of distance error. So what, what happens by the partial differential equation for this one. So so dh upon d theta that should be equal to sin theta into dl upon d theta plus l into cos theta. So now so dh that should be equal to sin theta into dl plus l cos theta into d theta. Now just cite the change. So dh minus sin theta dl that should be equal to l cos theta d theta. So, so d theta equal to dh upon l cos theta minus sin theta dl upon l cos theta. Now simplify. So d theta equal to dh upon l cos theta minus dl upon l and sin theta upon cos theta that should be converting into tan theta. Now tan theta is common out so tan theta that should be equal to dh upon l sin theta because tan theta is common out so 1 upon cos theta. So that will be considering as a L sin theta minus DL upon L. But here just you can see angle sin theta that will be equal to H. So D theta that should be equal to tan theta into DH upon H minus dl upon l. 
So just you can see that from these equations, it can be seen that the effect of the errors in either the spacing of the rollers or you can say height of the slip gauge combination edge. So is the function of the tangent of the angle theta. So it is also obvious that the maximum error when edge and L of the opposite signs. Now these equations onto the graphical representation. So let us see a look. So from this figure as an theta is being increased. So the error of the delta theta in the regular measurement is increased and above 45 degree. The value is more significant. So the because the 45 angle the value of the tan theta is greater than a unity. So basically tan theta that is greater than the unity. So what happens? So in general terms the preferable not to use the sign bar for the measurement of an angle which is greater than 45 for the higher accuracy of the requirements. So this is the main things behind that why sign bar is not used for the measurement of more than 45 degree angles. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you very much.